What we were seeing on the federal level and the state level is that we couldn't get, we can't get good climate legislation passed. You know, the legislation we needed was the Build Back Better bill. You all should applaud <laughs> because that was a good bill. It didn't quite get as much money, but it was, it was very close to what we really need to confront the climate um, crisis and we didn't get it passed. All kinds of really great legislation here in California that would have done important things to reduce our carbon footprint has been stopped by the state legislature. Why, both federally and locally? Because too many of them take money from the fossil fuel industry, and so they won't vote to confront the climate crisis. And the fact is, with all that we're doing, and I'm including all of you, we've got to have good legislation so that it becomes the law, that every good thing that you're doing then becomes the law for builders in the future, et cetera. And so we decided that what had to happen, we have to elect climate champions to office, not just at the high levels of, gov of federal government, but all the way down the ballot in every state. And we don't have, we're a new PAC, it's called the Jane Fonda Climate PAC. And that, we are the only organization that is solely focused on getting rid of the pro-fossil fuel elected officials and replacing them with climate champions. 